welcome to my store. Okay. And if you take one of those bottles out of the fridge and double it and get growing again, yep. that'll grow no problem. No problem. And the fertilizer room temperature, no problem. And the fertilizer, um, it's it's got uh, vitamins and minerals in here, so it's got B, uh, B vitamins in here. So ideally, left in a our refrigerator will give you your uh, your maximum shelf life out of it. And you're good for you know an easy 12 months on uh, refrigerated. Uh, if you leave it out of the refrigerator, um, nothing will happen to the fertilizer per se. You're degrading the uh, the effectiveness of the vitamins. So should it be refrigerated before opening or just after opening? Uh, before and after. We we when, once it's packaged, we keep it all in the fridge ready to go. Um, and uh, our label says that it should be refrigerated after opening as well. So basically, once you get it, open it, put it back in the fridge, uh, and away you go. And the uh, algae does just cool dry, no refrigerator. Yeah, okay. you're good. Okay. We've so got the algae grown, then. Huh? So we've got our, our product. So this is sort of a homegrown. We've got uh, our own, uh, this is the, the, the comes packaged. Uh, from equivalency perspective, we get this question a lot, is how much homegrown phytoplankton is in your 250 mils of uh, yeah. store bottle. Um, if you were looking at two liter pop bottles, this has the equivalent of about 22 liter pop bottles of phytoplankton in one little bag. So those two liter pop bottles that some people sell for 10 bucks a piece, as opposed to this is $15, it sounds like a way better value. You're getting much more bang for your buck this way. Yeah. Um, it's uh, we, we have a proprietary way of concentrating it down. It's still live. It's still viable. I mean, we know that there's products out of the market that uh, claim that they're live. The difference being is we are viable. I can take this out of the bag. I can add fertilizer to it. It will grow. Um, you can't do that with some of the other products that are on the market. Um, so from a if you know we, we realize that salt water is an expensive hobby to be into. There are some people that have to do it from a cost perspective. There are some people that just have the, you know, the curiosity and want to do it themselves. And we sell the fertilizer and we show you how to do it, obviously, yeah. um, because people are going to do it. Um, if it's easier for you to do it in the two liter pop bottles, buy all things. Um, some people can't be bothered um, and actually find it more convenient to dose from, from the bag itself. If you're doing a, uh, like say you're doing culture at home, how much are your savings over the course of a year to culture it yourself as opposed to purchasing? I've never actually run the math on that. Um, the, the the biggest cost of doing it yourself would be your salt. Yeah. Um, if you so you're adding the salt water to the tank, and you're, yeah, you're you're constantly you're adding salt water to your tank. Um, so from a, a an actual culture perspective, we tend to use recommend 1.020, so which is actually on the low end for salt water, just because we do really people in some cases are adding quite. A, yeah, to the tank. if you know, you're adding full strength salt water, you're going to get saltier and saltier and saltier. Absolutely. So the 1.020 in, in a reasonable density seems to sort of offset for some of the salt creep that people happen uh, happens through the, through the tank, as well as hopefully you're doing regular water changes. Yeah. Um, and well, you always check your levels. Uh, yeah. You're doing the water change, you put a little lower salinity right. in to bring it back to uh, So the, 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 the nice thing about the, the concentrated uh, is the... Uh, Actually, I open it in a different way. Totally different way. See, the way you're opening, it's hard to get at it. What I do is I take a knife, and say you're opening here, yep. you slide it along there. That way you've just cut one layer, so you got the big flap and the small flap to grab at. So to each, to each their own, there are tear tabs on them. Yeah. And it does work quite nicely. Yeah, but trying to get a customer to open that bag then is harder than getting them like, because in my servicing, of course, I leave these bags to all my customers, and then they add the uh, appropriate amount of uh, algae water every day. So basically, I have to make it easy. So I just take the knife, cut the one slot, and then that way you got the top tab and the side tab. It's easier to grab. Yep. 